Hi guys welcome to my channel Techno Pinoy TV. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you. What is a 4G LTE SIM card? A subscriber identity module SIM card is a small, smart card that's inserted into a Verizon Wireless certified 4G LTE device. The SIM card lets you access our 4G network and contains your subscriber profile, which includes details about your plan and features. Understanding what a 5G SIM is and its benefits. Definition of a 5G SIM. 5G SIM 5G SIM is a tamper-proof secure element which is the only solution allowed to secure 5G network access. It has been specified by the 5G standardization body ETSI 3GPP in Release 15 UICC Specifications UICC, Universal Integrated Circuit Card, better known as a SIM. It aims at directly addressing the key 5G attributes, enhanced mobile broadband, massive IoT, critical communications. Launched commercially in 2019, 5G will reach 1.9 billion subscriptions worldwide in 2024, i.e. 20% of all mobile subscriptions, making it the fastest generation ever to be rolled out on a global scale. A 5G SIM encompasses all form factors available, removable SIM, M2M SIM, 5G eSIM. Challenges for 5G operators in order to help to deliver the full 5G promise to enterprises and users, trust is increasingly perceived as a pervasive transversal factor to be added to a mandatory trust by design virtualized 5G architecture. But a certain number of legal and security concerns arise. User privacy management is nowadays increasingly seen as crucial in a digitalized society. This reality hurts mobile operators in the thing most dear to them with respect to their relationship with their users, reputation, and thus trust. In particular, mobile subscriber identity is at stake, i.e. International Mobile Subscriber Identity, aka IMSI, used to identify the user of a mobile network and a unique identification associated with all mobile networks, thanks to IMSI catcher equipment, IMSIs can be easily misused to locate, trace individuals and collect data. Definition, an IMSI catcher, or stingray, is an intrusive piece of technology that acts as a false base station, able to locate and track all mobile phones that are switched on in a certain area. It does this by pretending to be a mobile phone tower, tricking your phone into connecting to the IMSI catcher, and then revealing your personal details without your knowledge. Source, Privacy International The full anonymization of the end-to-end -end subscriber identity is required, i.e. from mobile equipment to core network. It can be imposed on mobile operators by stringent regulations, e.g. GDPR, e-privacy regulation, or implemented by mobile operators as part of their own security policy or strategy. Current mobile security architectures mainly rely on the secrecy of mobile operators' network authentication elements, i.e. the operator's network access authentication algorithm and long-term secret key credentials used for mutual authentication of users onto their mobile networks. Such information can be unexpectedly exposed via hacking attacks, e.g. by state intelligence agencies or other actors, or accidental breaches during exchanges between the mobile operators and their providers. This vulnerability can sometimes lead to communication spying, SIM cloning and other unwanted activities. Should the mobile operator believe that this sensitive data is compromised or suspected of being compromised, it can be forced to change its network authentication algorithm and or physically replace end-users' SIM cards. Such actions are damaging to the user experience, they result in SIM card renewal costs, and eventually lead to loss of trust and reputation of the mobile operator. Hence mobile operators must be able to maintain a cyber-resilient environment in case of attack by restoring a trusted security level over the entire SIM lifecycle. Then 5G roaming is on the agenda too. While traveling abroad, 5G users particularly the early 5G adopters logically expect to continue to roam on other 5G networks. They would not understand that while roaming they could be connected to a 3G or 4G network, thus losing the 5G enhanced mobile experience. Mobile operators must be able to ensure that their roaming policy across 5G, 4G and 3G is correctly applied in any country, 